Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Time Magazine's roster of all-star baseball movies. This is the week when Major League Baseball honors its best. We're all there are the best, or at least the most famous, of baseball movies, too. And we are proud to present a starting lineup of some of the most memorable films to stick in your mind, your heart, or your craw. Let's see if your favorite is among them. Leading off and playing second base... Jackie Robinson as Jackie Robinson in The Jackie Robinson Story. The first African-American player in the major leagues into the modern era. Robinson came to the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947 and became immediate sensation, controversy, and star. In the winter between the 1949 and 50 seasons, he took a few weeks off to make this low-budget film. Nothing special about it except the glamour of watching one of history's great figures play himself. Batting second, your designated hitter, Robert Redford as Roy Hobbs in The Natural. Let's play ball. A lifelong minor leaguer who got his big chance late in his career and who managed to turn the town upside down with his late-inning heroics. So the movie spat tobacco juice at the plot and the spirit of Bernard Malamud's novel. This is Hollywood, baby. Or should I say, it's Hobbsywood. Just look at that home run go over the fence. Why, he obliterated that ball. He's the hammering Hobbsian. Batting third and playing right field, Tab Hunter as Joe Hardy in Damn Yankees. I'd sell my soul for one long ball hitter. The 1958 musical about a paunchy middle-aged man who would do anything to help his beloved cellar-dwelling Washington Senators beat the feared and hated Yankees. So he makes a pact with the devil to be transformed into a young slugger. Batting cleanup and playing first base, Gary Cooper as Lou Gehrig in The Pride of the Yankees. Gehrig and Babe Ruth were the greatest sluggers of their time. Gary was also a wonderful family man, but then was struck down by Lou Gehrig's disease. I mean, what are the odds? And then, at Yankee Stadium, when he retired, he gave the most famous speech in baseball history. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Just between us, the real Gary gave that speech much better. And unlike Cooper, he didn't hit like a girl. Speaking of which, batting fifth and playing center field, Madonna as May Mortabito in A League of Their Own. This is the partially true story of a women's baseball league that flourished during the 40s when the men and many of baseball players were off to war. This is the movie where Madonna proved she could really play the field, and she's famous for hitting triples. Ask any Yankee fan if she can't make it to third base. No wonder they call her all the way made. Batting sixth, your shortstop, Chris Barnes as Tanner Boyle in The Bad News Bears. I'll drink to that. This was the inspiring story about a bunch of rotten, foul-mouthed kids who were whipped into shape by rotten, foul-mouthed coach Walter Matthau. But the rottenest, the foulest of mouth, was Tanner, who said words that cannot be spoken over a baseball park public address system. Let's listen, shall we? Hey, Yankees, you can take your apology out of your trophy and shove it straight up your ass! Batting seventh and playing third base, John Cusack as Buck Weaver in Eight Men Up. It's John Sales' film of the 1919 Chicago White Sox, the most infamous team in baseball history. Some of the men on the team, reputedly including their top star, Shoeless Joe Jackson, took money from gamblers and threw the World Series. Buck Weaver was one of the players not involved in the throwing of the games, but he was involved in the scandal, a scandal that would lead to the changing of baseball. I haven't taken a nickel. I don't owe anybody a damn thing. 
We let you in on the meetings. Look, you just play your ball game and I'll play mine and we'll see how it comes out. Batting eighth and playing left field, Ray Liotta as Joe Jackson in Field of Dreams. This is the revisionist story that means to rescue Shoeless Joe from ignominy and make him a saint who comes out of a cornfield. Yeah. Corn being the operative word. Kevin Costner is the man who believes that if you build it, they will come. There are others, you know. There were eight of us. You really mean a lot to them. Yeah. Anytime. They're all welcome here. Batting ninth. And catching Kevin Costner as Crash Davis in Bull Door. The critic Scott Tobias said that there are two kinds of baseball movies, the woozy inspirational kind and Bull Durham. It's a smart, cynical, hot movie with Kevin Costner as the fading catcher who's trying to handle both the wildness of a goofy pitcher named Nuke Lelouch, Tim Robbins, and the sexual attentions of a baseball Annie, Susan Sarandon. Really, fans, which would you choose? And I believe in long, slow, deep, soft, wet kisses that last three days. Good night. Oh, my. Crash? Hey, Annie, what's all this molecule stuff? Crash? <laughs> Your starting pitcher, Billy D. Williams as Bingo Long in the Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings. This is the story about the Negro League team who barnstormed through the South, playing the white teams and beating them. Billy D is Bingo Long, who is both the pitcher and the owner. And playing with him are such stalwarts as James Earl Jones and Richard Pryor. And finally, your relief pitcher, Charlie Sheen, as Rick Wild Thing Vaughn in Major League. This is the story about the Cleveland Indians, a fictitious team, who are bought by a woman determined to run them out of town. So, of course, perverse guys that they are, they decide finally to play baseball like champions. There are really three kinds of baseball movies. The Woozy Inspirationals, Bull Durham, and a hell raisin who gives a hit comedy like Major League that wants to do nothing but make you spill your popcorn and spit up your beer. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. And so the Time Magazine All-Star Baseball team celebrates another victory. And fans, just by listening, you've been All-Stars too. This is your announcer, Richard Corliss, and I am going, going, gone, goodbye.